So here we have the hip, the whole hip area, the greater trochanter, so you'll feel this bony area right in here. As you move down, this is the large biceps femoris, and this muscle is the first muscle that atrophies with a cruciate injury. As we move down, or as we move forward, we have the quadricep, and deeper we have the iliopsoas. When we come in, if you take your index finger and slide up over the rectus femoris, one of the quadriceps, and then slightly in, you'll be able to palpate that. Normally, if the dog is not painful, when you flex the hip, it'll soften, and then when you extend the hip, it'll tighten. So here again are the quadriceps. We have the biceps femoris, which is part of the hamstrings, and we have the semitendinosus and the semimembranosus. Down here we have the stifle, or the knee, and the stifle flexes and extends. When we feel for that patella, or that kneecap, we're going to feel almost like a pencil. We'll feel that pencil there and just move up slightly and we're right on the patella. Normally, your index finger and your thumb should come right around the patella.